hands, Justin. Don't turn the front shoulder. Just load your hands. Now to the ball. Those are going to be killed. Out here. Hi, everyone. My name is Tony Gwynn. I'm the head coach here at San Diego State. Uh, Hall of Famer. I used to play with the San Diego Padres for 20 years. And here's the thing I really like about the Camwood bat. It's really simple. Uh, most kids... Most college guys, high school guys, pro, even pro guys, I think, we have the tendency to think that when we're hitting, we have to throw the barrel head at the baseball. And here, to me, is where the Camwood bat really kind of sets the table for you. And that is, in order to be a good hitter, you always have to lead with the now the bat. You always have to lead with the bottom hand, and you let the barrel follow. You let the barrel trail. And so... The hardest ball to hit in baseball is a good fast ball away. And if you learn to take the knob of the bat to the baseball and you get to that ball, fast ball away, I guarantee you that the fast ball in will be a whole lot easier to hit. And really it's about getting in a good position and taking the hands to the baseball correctly. And when I say taking them correctly, it's taking the knob of the bat to the baseball. If the ball's away, I want to take the knob to the baseball. If the ball's in the middle, I want to take the knob to the baseball. If the ball's inside, I want to take the knob of the bat to the baseball. And if I can keep my top hand palm up throughout my swing, I'm going to be able to cover the ball late and the ball early. And that, that half, you notice I went from away to inside. That half is the path the knob of the bat is going to take to make contact and everybody especially younger guys feel like the ball in is a lot harder to hit than the ball away and really it's the opposite the ball away is a lot harder to hit than the ball in and if you take your hands on the right path that's going to allow you to hit both and that's why this cam bat to me is really a nice thing to have because it'll really help you understand the path that your hands have to take in order to make consistent contact.